Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Impress with the results of week 4 of the giveaway competition Win a Chess Book. But we're not only going to talk about the competition, we also have to play some chess and I will tell you after we cover the results, I will tell you about this position which looks a very simple position. It looks a draw, yes it is a draw, but there's something very witty and very nice about this position, very artistic as well. But first, the results of week four. In this week's competition I asked you what is your favorite chess piece and I asked you to explain that in one sentence. This competition is sponsored by the Mind Game Shop. There's the link. The link is also in the description box. It's run by Erika Siva, a woman grandmaster from Hungary and now from the Netherlands who runs chess the Mind Game Shop and also who she's running the best to set which means the best move which is a web shop for chess books and it would be great if you go, could go to the description box and click on the link to see what the mind game shop and the best of that have on offer. Let's first look at some honorable mentions. Carl Rogers says my favorite chess piece is the king because he is taller than all the other pieces. Very nice Kyle. And Victor Albert says the knight because it is represented by a horse which is an animal and I love animals and it is a and it is an octopus. It is indeed a knight on d3 or d6. We call that an octopus. Mateus Penteado says, My favorite piece is the pawn, which is nothing but can be everything. Very nice. Some more. Pretender says, She rules the world, the masterpiece. She's merciless. She loves to kiss. The kiss of death and rest in peace. Talking about the queen. Stanley Kakoma says, my favorite piece is a bishop, because many beautiful combinations have either been initiated by bishop sacrifices or finished off with bishop mates. And Carlos Morathan says, my favorite piece is the pawn. Wait, it's a bishop. No, a rook, a knight. It's a queen now. Carlos talks about the pawn promotion, of course. Shiranga Wirth, my favorite piece is the rook. A strong and tough unit on the flanks with the ability to also hit hard offensively when needed. It has always been of immense importance in real life battles in all cultures throughout history. A historical lesson from Shiranga there. And Jesse Hammer says, My favorite piece is my opponent's light squared bishop when they play the French against me. Yes, the poor bishop on c8 is a bad piece in the French. Diego Damis, in every game or composition, my favorite piece is the pawn. Effective, often decisive, and the only one on the board able to change its nature. That's very true, Diego. And Mark says, my favorite piece is the king. You must never forget that it is a piece as well. Although it is weak, it can be a powerful weapon. It can be a powerful weapon in an attack. Yes, indeed, Mark. But the winner is Jens Erik Bech. My favorite piece is the knight confusingly jumping and suddenly winning the fight. And that is a great summary of that wonderful piece, the knight. Confusingly jumping. I like those two words very much. Yes, Eric, you've won a chess book. And if you write to me by email on classroomchess at gmail.com with your home address, I will put the book in the mail to you. We will keep going with the competition. It will run for six weeks from October 7th till November 11th. Each weekend a new competition and I will announce the new question in video number 236 which will be about the great Akiba Rubinstein. So please look out for it and I hope you will enter the competition. And now back to this position. I told you it was cute. I told you it was artistic. Well, let's get into it. This is a retractor puzzle. It's about white retracting his last move, then black retracts his last move, and black replaces it with such a move that enables white to checkmate in one move. Wow, who could that be? Well, it's not too complicated. You may want to have a look for yourself. I'll give you one hint. I'll give it now. It's involving the castling rule, so you may want to look and if not, I'll give you the solution now. So, first white retracts his last move. 
White's last move must have been King G6 takes a rook on H5. Okay. Now black has to retract his last move. And black's last move was rook h8 takes a queen on h5. So now both players have retracted their last move. And now we have to find a move that black can play instead. Which will result in white checkmating black on his next move. Does that move exist? Yes it does. Because here black can play instead of taking that queen, can castle. And then indeed, white does have a checkmate in one with queen h7 checkmate. Now, is that cute or not? I really like it. Hope you do too. This is a very good composition to show your friends because it's such a simple start with two kings on the board. Let's have a quick look again. White retracts his last move, which is King g6 takes a rook on h5, then black retracts his last move, which was rook h8 takes a queen on h5, and instead of taking that queen, black castled, which enables white to give checkmate. Beautiful! If you enjoyed this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to the Chess to Impress channel, please leave a comment, and if you liked the video, it would be great if you could share it on social media, and don't forget to share that composition with your friends, your chess friends. You also may want to check out my Chess 2 Progress channel. The link is in the description box, as well as the link to the sponsor of the competition. Please click on it. This is Rick from Chester Impress. Thank you for watching.